Right. Welcome to Five News Online. I'm Ruben Diaz. We have your top headlines for you where you live. Let's get you caught up on what's going on now. A professor who worked at the University of Arkansas is now facing sentencing in federal court. He did that today. Simon Ang pleaded guilty to one count of lying to the FBI back in January. Now, the charge stems from false information that Ang gave about patents for inventions made in China. According to prosecutors, 24 patents with Ang's name were filed with the Chinese government, but that he had failed to report those to the university and then later lied about them. Now, the university requires disclosure of all faculty patents. The charge carries a maximum prison sentence of five years, but the plea deal calls for only one year behind bars. All right, let's take a look outside on this Thursday afternoon. It is warm, to say the least. Meteorologist Zach Scott joining us now with that. Yeah, that's right, Ruben. Uh, heat advisory update for you. Northwest Arkansas, Benton, Washington, Madison counties were added to the uh, heat advisory from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. for your Thursday afternoon. Heat index values 105 to 107. Best chance for that down in the River Valley. Could get a few areas to approach 105 with the feels like temperature across Northwest Arkansas. So you guessed it, hot, humid conditions still in place. Uh, still got some of the scattered mid to higher level clouds filtering out some of that sunshine, but we're going to go a couple degrees warmer than where we were for your Wednesday. Wednesday, temperatures in northwest Arkansas were the upper 80s. We're looking for those lower 90s. Heading out for your Thursday evening, temperatures making their way close to the upper 70s by 10 p.m., so another warm evening and mild overnight. A couple degrees warmer down in the River Valley as well. You were at 93, the hottest uh, for your Wednesday. Today, we're looking for more of those mid-90s, around 95. You're a little bit warmer. It means you're going to stay warmer through the evening. Even by 10 o'clock, you're still in those low to mid-80s with another mild night as well. We'll stay warm, hot, and humid as we get into Friday with a chance for an afternoon thunderstorm as we get into the weekend. We'll keep you updated on that forecast moving forward. Republican hopeful for Arkansas's House District 25 is suing to void the primary election results. Jody Harris filed suit in Franklin County Circuit Court. Harris is challenging the certification of the election. Now, election officials' initial vote count and the recount both showed Harris losing to Republican nominee Chad Purrier by six votes. Perrier, by the way, is also named in that lawsuit, along with Crawford County Board of Election Commissioners and the Democratic nominee, Caitlin Oxford. All right, those are some of your top headlines on this Thursday. Remember, you can stay with us all day long. We'll be back here for your 5 News at 4, 5, and 6. I'm Ruben Diaz. Have a great day.